Well, hello there. How are you doing? Right, today we've got a little package. What is it? Well, well, well. There's nothing more frustrating than when your van isn't level. It just winds me up. I can't sleep like this or like this. It's just, it's annoying. So, this little thing is a slope meter. Mmm. Got it on Amazon. If you want to check them out, there's going to be a link in the description. They're only pretty cheap, but I'm expecting big things. So let's open it up and have a look what's exactly inside the box. So inside, we got one box, we got two box. We've got that. And we've got a certificate. Great. And we all know that that certificate is not worth a carrot. Two cables. One is a USB, which is... No, it's not. It's a cigarette lighter, which gives you another two USBs. And you all know how fascinated I am with USBs. And that's got the port on there. That goes in the back of the ultimate, I should imagine. And then the other one is just a hard wire cable, which you can just wire in straight into your two, into your 12 volt, which is great. So I'm guessing this is going to be the unit itself. There we go. It's quite a big chunky boy. Right, so what this is going to do is when it's plugged in, um, it's going to tell you is you is it left to right is it straight you know you tilt forwards and backwards is the van straight is it level is it worth and is it sleepable because there's nothing worse than sleeping in a van that's pointing forwards it's a pain in the ass so let's plug it in and see what it does right got it plugged in see if we can get it in the back it just goes in the back there and it plugs in to the little slot. There we go. Oh! It beeps as well. That could be annoying. Right, I'll spin camera around so you can have a look. Right, so that is the device right there, and as you can see, when I'm moving it, the little car or the little Jeep that's on there is moving, and you're getting the increments in degrees there on, you know, is it straight? You can see that one is pointing downwards because I've got the actual unit pointing down. If I was to turn it the other way, which you can't see, you can see that the actual car levels out. Right, so right now in the van, it's not far off level to be honest it's not bad um we could probably no that's too high but that's that's probably about as level as you're going to get it you know in general uh, there is a button on there that's annoyingly flashing and with that you can scroll through um that's just connecting to the satellite so it can obviously give you your speed and coordinate to where you are you've got a miles per hour thing which you're never going to need because it's on your dashboard you've got a clock and you've also got that screen as well which is going to tell you your voltage your distance obviously since your last trip and then back to the actual slope angle thing whatever right so the good thing with the crafter is it does come with this little section here which is it's the flattest part of the dashboard right i have stuck some sticky on the bottom of there and we're going to stick that just there just like that Right, a lot easier to take the pillar off than I can feed the wire down and we ain't got any issues.
Right, so I've taken this cover panel off, which is there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a switch on there, which will just connect up to the actual level gauge. I'll drill through the cable through there. So I can then pull this cable, which connects up to the actual switch in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice into this mains live here, solder on the two cables that go to there, and then one that goes to the switch. That way it's got power and it's on a switch and I can turn it on and off as I want. I'm going to put a hole through there so we can take the cable. And then our little switch, which is there. We're just gonna mount that into there, right there. So we got a hole in there, and then our switch will fit in there. Just nice. Nice and snug in the hole, just like that. Grift on the back, perfect. So now we just need to do is basically get it all wired up. So we'll have a loop going from live from there to the switch and then back to the unit. And then the switch will break the circuit when we want it on and off. Right in here, we have got a live and a neutral. I don't want to break these two so what I'm going to do I'm just going to split the actual cable itself, the outer casing, the protective layer and then I'm going to trim this one back all the way exposing the two cables underneath and then we can do the same on them and then we can solder these two cables to this cable without cutting this or interfering with it. And we'll just cut it there, cut into the cable there, and then we'll cut into the cable a little bit further up, which is there, and then you'll see that's exposed the actual cable. What we want to do now is get rid of the piece that we've just pushed back, which is there, and that leaves us a nice clean cable. Then what we can do is we can take our negative and then what you can do is take this cable and literally just wrap it round until you've got no cable left to wrap round and then we will solder that joint right there and then two cables are then now connected get the red one out the way And then we can solder these two. You get a nice solder joint on them two cables there. Right, now we'll just take some electrical tape and we'll just cover over the earth cable that we've just done. Get plenty of tape on there. Then what we can do now is we can tackle this one, which is the actual positive. So we'll do the same, we'll just give it a neck right there, stretch the cable, take the piece out that we've just cut or stretched, which is that piece there. And then we've got a nice, fresh, uncut cable right there. Now what we need to do is we need to attach these two cables. But what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure we've got them the right way around. So, we'll attach the positives to there and the positive to the actual unit there. Now, now you can hear the units come on. So, we want the black going to the actual 
because we want in the on position and now it's off then this red cable we can do the same as we did with the black and that is just wrap it round the cable that is giving it the 12 volt feed make sure it's nice and tight and secure again come back with your soldering iron plenty on there and then what we can do is we can take our electrical tape and the two wires we can then marry them back up together that way the air is not touching the positive the positive not touching the earth we haven't cut the cables to splice into them all we've done is we've just cut into the actual cable housing and we've left the cables intact so this one now this needs to go to this one here which we will simply just twist together like that make sure that's joined nice and soldered and then still a bit off push it down itself and then the heat shrink that I put on before we can just push that through push it over the whole lot just like so and then we can just give it a run up with the solder and iron and then that is all heat shrink protected so like I just said we just cut into the cable there we made sure all the solder connections didn't touch each other we just then soldered them wrapped the tape around connected this to the actual switch there and as you can see the units has come on so if we now turn the switch in the off position the unit goes off so turn it back on and it comes on and now we just need to put this unit back up there and put the screw underneath in there right so we got the unit in that's there let's turn it on unit's on now all we've got to do is basically stick this down to there and then as you can see the vehicle is level now so when we go on an incline and a decline which we will you know it'll be one of them things to test but the good thing about it because it's got an annoying alarm we can just turn it off as and when required and that'll be fine right so when you get your units in and you get it all mounted you can then scroll through all the different you know screens that are on there if you want to set or change any of the preferences or the settings on it if you hold the middle button uh, hold the middle button in you'll get to this screen here you hold in to move on to the next one and then you can choose whatever you want you want and then if you want to go into that one you can basically press it a short press and then that changes it you can see the color there changing of the actual displays so we'll just keep that on white if you leave it for about 10 seconds what happens then is then it goes back into the screen that you originally came into there we go and then if you are on a level place what you do is you just hold it in and it will calibrate the system so that now says that the whole system is level you tilt forwards and backwards and you you your left to right tilt as well they're all calibrated to zero so i suggest that you go somewhere that has got a level surface when it's mounted and then level it off on a level surface don't level it off when you're obviously on a tilt or a hill or something like that because that would just be stupid so it was a nice short video on this little guy here and it's made by a company called au tool like i said i'll leave the distincts the distincts I'll leave the links in the description below I think it was around about 45 pounds but it does help if you don't know you know if you're like me and you don't like to be on a, a decline or an incline or you don't like the van being side to side you don't have to get out and check every two minutes you can literally just look at the little screen and you can tell exactly if you are straight level or you know you're on a bit of a camber that's the product right there not a sponsored advert, you didn't give me it, I bought it. So, right, 
We've got something interesting coming soon. Mmm. Wait until you see the seats we've bought for that side of the van. Hmm. All I can say is, stay tuned. Anyway, right. Go get drunk, be with your family, stay safe, whatever you do, do it well. And I'll see you next week.